Our purpose today is to learn about weather. Raise your hand if you've heard of weather before. Here. Raise your hand if you've ever felt the wind before. Oh, can you see the wind? No. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor. And the title of this can is, can you see the wind? See the wind? <laughs> what, what did we learn about today? Wind. What did we learn about the wind? Who could tell me one thing about the wind? What's one thing about today? We are going to do some writing and a, a picture. You decide what wind sounds like and write that word in there. First grade science standard talks about how weather um, changes throughout the year and the different types of weather. So I chose wind. And I figured they'd have more experience with it since we have a lot of uh, English language learners at our site. Um, I wanted them to be able to actually have experienced the type of weather. The book is just a trade book off the shelf that I got at the bookstore and I thought it might be a book that they hadn't seen before. I could see as I read through the book that there were a lot of actions the kids could do so we used their hand to be a sailboat and they were blowing uh, any type of action all the way through so that they're involved the entire time. The teachers were asking me when we talked about the lesson, we talked about it being a science lesson and but also a writing lesson and um, I was told that they're focusing on spelling and punctuation. So they were closed type statements on the paper that the students were given. So they're giving a little help, um, but then they also get to put in their own ideas. They were very excited that they knew that the period needed to go at the end, and I had left that off for them to put in. So they're putting in what they've learned about wind and putting it into a drawing. Plus they have the writing that they did. They'll be taking that and doing a technology component where they do a voice thread. And we have older students who are mentoring them and will pull each kid over to a computer and they will help them practice reading what they wrote and then they'll record them to go along with their picture on the voice thread so that it can be shared with fa uh, family, with other students. It can be shared all over the world. Whoever has a computer can go online and see their work. I chose voice thread to extend the lesson with the first graders because I thought it would involve their parents and maybe even their grandparents a little bit more. I also thought it would pull in teachers who maybe don't feel as comfortable with technology. It builds the community connection. My kids are going to be looking at that because they're so excited to help the first graders. It just ties our, our D track and our whole school together. Plus it, it brings in the families more. The exciting part that it was that the way I helped the first graders read and understand what they had to do. I do feel confident about um, like teaching kids and it feels really good.